Aouda, Aoued. I was born in Sudan. And uh, I lived in Wales something like 30 years. I was living in Cheltenham. I studied fine art painting first, but then I wanted to do glass. I had to do glass. So I came to Swansea to study the glass course. Uh, it's a very good course. I had really very good grounding. Uh, we had masters teaching us glass painting, cartooning, glass cutting. Uh, so I am grateful to all my teachers and I have got very good skills, alhamdulillah. Yeah. I donated a piece to Cambridge Mosque project. It's uh, an Islamic piece. It's based on Islamic, geometric Islamic. And it's made with um, Artista glass. It's a German glass, but they don't make it anymore. The company closed. So it's the one-off piece ever. <laughs> uh, so basically it's made in three different layers and had three different firings. First, you start by cutting the underneath layer, your mold on fiber paper, which is about six millimeter thick. And you cut it. So where you want the glass to fall, slump when you fire it that's where you cut out so it works like opposites so I cut the, the base and then we I put a flat sheet that's lumped onto the letters the letters are called Yasin it's the beginning of Surah Yasin it's one of my favorites Taha the second lot and the third lot is from Surah Ghafir now those letters, nobody knows the meaning. Not even the Prophet والسلام, nobody knows the, uh, what they mean, but it's the beginning of the surahs. Some people hit it with the, with the cutter to death. I don't like that because it causes scratches. But you see the cut beginning to run now? Just pick it with pliers as well. I cut the letters and put them in the middle of the spaces where you slump the glass underneath the glass. The style is kufi, but very pretty. Stylized kufi. I like the fact that it's an extension of the light, an extension of God's light, and it just comes to life on its own. As soon as you expose it to natural light or backlighting, it has a life of its own. It's different to painting because my first course was painting and I tried to make the paintings as bright as possible. I was also doing Islamic. They just didn't work. For me, they did not work. And you make it too bright, it becomes offensive. Glass, I don't think it can ever be offensive. It's just, oh, it shines. <laughs> lead. It's wide. That's for hardcore church windows. So when you're cutting the piece of lead to put two bits of glass together to let this piece and that piece. Okay, and it doesn't open. You open to this. So the cementing yeah. is what really keeps it dry and draft free and things. And lead is very poisonous, so every time you touch a piece of lead, you have to go and wash your hands or wear the gloves. I bought a fancy one, but I still like the one I made. Yeah. <laughs> See, I put the piece of glass and it's not fitting in nicely. It's playing me up. I tap gently. 
Well, I always enjoyed it when we went on school trips and you see the odd window and you say, wow, how did they do that? And then when I was studying the, the fine art in Cheltenham, I was always in the library, you know, in the spare time. And I wasn't looking at art books. I was looking at glass books. <laughs> and one day my teacher came in, Paul Thomas, said, this is a painting course. I said, I know, but my heart is there. He said, go where your heart is. So I applied and it was really nice. I had a nice interview because they said, you have to be patient. Are you patient? I said, no, 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 I'm not patient. They said, don't worry, it will teach you patience. 